So you're in a rut, a slump, a funk, whatever you want to call it. You're just not feeling your best. You're not feeling like your usual self. And you're like, how do I get out of this? How do I feel good again? How do I start fresh? Well, today I'm bringing you guys a few tips on ways I like to help myself get out of a slump. If you have a job where you kind of do the same thing every day, you go to work, you come home, you watch TV, you go to bed, you kind of have the same routine every day and everything feels super mundane and repetitive. I think that's even easier to fall into a slump. So the fact that every day of mine is different, I just don't even know why I get in ruts so easily. But here are some tips of how I like to combat these because I feel like I'm finally coming out of one and a few of these tips have really helped. I also shared a little slideshow of some of these, not all of them, but some of them on Instagram and TikTok on the Shop Dream Daily account. So if you want more inspiration, motivational content, and more like short, digestible Instagram slideshows or TikTok videos, check out the Shop Dream Daily pages because I'm going to try to start posting more content like this in short form on there. let's go ahead and get started with the tips and if you guys have any tips for things that have helped you get out of a rut i would love for you to comment them below and then we can just help each other out okay so first one is very basic but identify if you can what's putting you in this rut this is like the least fun tip because it's kind of annoying sometimes to like sit in your feelings to sit in your emotions to think why am i not feeling good but if you sit down with a journal piece of paper um or if you're not someone who likes to write i sometimes do this with like a voice memo i'll start a voice memo on my phone no one else is going to read it and i'll just talk like i'll do this while i'm driving you can pretend like you're on a podcast and just talk through your feelings and kind of be like so I've been feeling in a rut lately because I'm not eating as healthy. I haven't been to the gym in a few weeks and I'm annoyed with this person at my work or, you know, whatever it may be. Or you're like, I'm really struggling with this project right now in school or work and it's stressing me out. It's making me overwhelmed or, you know, my best friend moved away or I just went through a breakup. And so you can kind of talk through or write through what's putting you in this slump and then you can make a tailored plan for you so all these tips i'm giving you you can pick and choose which ones you want to try but if you can actually identify what's putting you in this rut or slump you can be specific about how you go about attacking those <laughs> triggers um, and get out of it quicker okay tip number two is to start a new hobby this is one of my favorite things to do ever um so a few i'm gonna put up a bunch of examples but a few that i like to do or that i've done recently in the summer is pickleball i talked about this in a recent vlog where it's going up soon um just got some new paddles especially since the weather's been nicer out it's been fun to do stuff outside and so pickleball has been a sport that i've been getting into this summer as well as golf my boyfriend just started golfing i've golfed for years just here and there like once or twice a year but we're starting to golf more like going to the driving range after weekdays and then like this sunday we're gonna play nine holes and it's just such a you know maybe random thing but having like a new hobby to focus on is so fun because you can watch youtube videos about it i feel like guys are really good at doing this like as soon as they have some kind of interest they go to youtube and they search stuff about it um and so like maybe it's like you want to get better at your makeup and so you're researching beauty gurus on youtube and like buying the new products just something to like take your mind off the day to day uh, so some other hobby ideas, obviously getting into a new workout, dance lessons, taking music lessons, learning like an instrument, painting, pottery, a lot of like crafts and stuff that you do with your hands are a super great hobby to get into because it's like a really good mind body connection and gets you off your phone reading look at book talk there's so many recommendations um like i said all the different kinds of sports there are so yeah get get a new hobby get focus on something outside of your day-to-day -day. number three we all know you feel so good after you clean your space but if you have zero motivation to clean your space here's my tip buy one new cleaning product you don't have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on cleaning products buy a new sponge buy a new soap buy a new detergent you know usually buying something motivates us like you buy a new workout set to then have motivation to work out so buy a new cleaning product um whatever it may be and then just take an afternoon an evening a morning whenever you can to clean your spaces some big ones are obviously like doing your dishes laundry wiping down counters 
washing your sheets, washing your makeup brushes, and cleaning out your car if you have one. Those are some big ticket items that as soon as I do those, I feel immediately better. Um, and if you need some more motivation, even after buying that one cleaning product, watch some YouTube or TikTok like cleaning with me videos. They're so motivational. I love Claire Pierce. Um, and of course there's tons of others. I sometimes post these on TikTok and whatnot. I'm trying to do more of like little resets on TikTok. So yeah, just search Sunday reset video on TikTok and you'll instantly be motivated and you're gonna feel so much better, so much cleaner uh, when your space is clean. Number four, fill up your self-care and social calendar for the rest of the month. So I know I feel so much better when I have something to look forward to. So like before my LA trip, I was looking forward to going out to Las Vegas and Los Angeles. Um, now I'm looking forward to my birthday weekend and family coming in and seeing friends for my birthday. So whether it's small things like just having a movie night with one friend or planning a night out or planning um, you know, a spa day for yourself, whatever it may be, fill up your calendar for the next few weeks with some social and some self-care items. They can be free, they can be paid, whatever it be but just have some things to look forward to, whether it's getting your hair done, your nails done, like I said, having a movie night with friends, going out with friends, just fill up your calendar so like you feel like you have something to look forward to. Number five, book a trip. We all know that feeling when you take a vacation or you even just take a work trip or a weekend trip and you just see new spaces, maybe you're visiting somewhere new, you're trying new foods, seeing new cultures. Um, it's just like a boost of inspiration and you come back and you're like refreshed usually, hopefully, to then get back to work or get back in your routines, get in your groove. So if you can book a trip, obviously that's amazing, or a weekend like road trip, if you can't, book a staycation. You can do that by booking like a hotel or an Airbnb in your city, split it with some friends. Or if you don't wanna spend any money, just ask your friend to do a sleepover, like go over to their apartment for a weekend um, or even one night and just have a little sleepover and you can just pretend you're on vacation because it's like a different atmosphere. Basically, you'll find a lot of these tips are like to change your atmosphere, to change what you're, what's around you because you gotta break up the mundane to feel like you're getting out of that rut. And then as another example of that, tip number six is to give your routines a makeover. So let's say you go on your trip, you come back, you do your deep clean, um, you, you're starting a new hobby and your calendar's full. Now it's time to take a look at your daily routine and figure out what are some ways I can switch this up to again, like break that cycle of the mundane. So for example, let's say you walk in the mornings every day, maybe you put that daily walk in the evenings. Maybe you watch TV before bed, maybe you try to start reading fiction and, that also adds to a new hobby. Um, maybe it's just like what you make for breakfast. Maybe like, I know I've eaten avocado toast for breakfast for probably the past three years now. Um, and so sometimes I do switch it up, but like if I feel like just bleh and I don't feel like it's helping me, I'm not craving it like I used to, then maybe I'll switch to just eggs or a smoothie or a breakfast burrito. Like just try to switch up little things in your routine. Maybe it's the order you do your makeup. So you say foundation for last or you do your hair before your makeup or just find little ways that you can switch up your routines um, to again, get out of that mundane cycle and you may like it better or you may be like, actually I like my old way better so I'm gonna go back to it, but at least it's like a nice switch and you're trying something new. Kind of a side tip, like a little extra sub tip of routines is for me, I find when I wake up earlier, I feel more motivated for the day. Um, I know this is not for everyone. I usually wake up like in the summer, I've been waking up at like 7.30, getting out of bed at like 8 a.m., which is pretty late considering I used to get up at like six and whatnot. And I've been fighting this kind of ever since graduating college because I have nowhere to be during the morning. So it's like, I just sleep in. But like this morning I got up at 6.30 and I had a bar class at 7 a.m. And this morning, even though it sucked, absolutely sucked getting up out of bed, once I was like moving and like in my car, did the workout class, came back, I felt so much more motivated. So if you can try to wake up just 30 minutes or an hour earlier than usual, even if you just do it for a week, I have this YouTube video I'll link below that actually was really popular. It's like waking up at 6 a.m. for a week because I was trying to get out of a rut. And I may do that again soon because it's just so nice to have a little bit of extra time in the morning. And I always tell people, if you don't know what to do with that extra time in the morning when you're waking up early, do something you love. So if you hate working out, don't wake up earlier to work out. Wake up earlier to do what you love, whether that's reading, painting, stretching, watching YouTube, like just get up earlier and do something you love first thing and that'll make it easier to get up. And then you'll start feeling that motivation and just being able to get up earlier, easier. So I'm gonna try to take my own advice that has worked for me in the past that I just, you know, fall out of, and I'm gonna start 
trying to wake up earlier this fall. <laughs> okay, my last tip, number seven, is to set a goal to do one new thing each day. This also is kind of tying into like starting a new hobby, changing up your routines, but just it could be one small little thing that's new or different. Maybe it's texting a person you don't normally text. Maybe it's FaceTiming someone instead of calling them. Maybe it's making your bed with different pillows or making your coffee a different way, trying a new coffee shop, changing up the back screen, lock screen of your laptop. Like just set a goal to try one new thing um, each day for let's just say two weeks and see if that helps you kind of get out of that rut, get out of that slump. Again, change up the mundane and feel productive and just feel better overall. Okay, so those are all my tips for how to get out of a rut, get out of a slump. Like I said, I go through my fair share of these for sure. Um, and probably the ones that have worked most recently for me is finding a new hobby and just like finding something to focus on along with identifying what's putting me in a rut. Just a little case study of how I kind of used some of these tips to get out of ruts in the past. Um, Last year, living by myself, I just felt like I was constantly in a rut. I was very sad and I kind of had to do a lot of digging to identify why and it was because I hated living alone and working alone. I was more extroverted than I thought I was. And so after doing some of that journaling work, I actually did some therapy work. Um, I realized like what would help with this is having a separate place to work than where I live. So getting a small office and also getting a roommate or having someone just like having plans on the weeknights when normally like in school, I would never have plans on the weeknights, but being post-grad and not seeing someone during the day, I needed those plans at night to kind of get me through. So that was like one example of something that's really worked for me and how I went from being very sad last year to being in a much better mental state this year. Um, little things as well, like I said, waking up at 6 a.m. for a week, buying a new cleaning product, watching those resets before I clean every week, um, new hobbies, love my pickleball, love my golf, and then especially just having something to look forward to, I feel like always helps me through a tough time. So let me know if any of these tips resonated with you. If you try any of them, come back to this video, let me know how they went. Um, and also comment if you have any tips for other people as well, so we can kind of just share in the comments. All right, I'm so excited for the next few videos, the next months coming out of content. We're gonna be getting cozy. We're going to be setting goals. We're going to be just doing all the things. Um, I'm about to turn 24 which is wild. So just lots of lots of things coming up. I'm really excited. So if you're interested, feel free to subscribe and stick around and I will see you guys every Monday for a new video. Bye. Love you.